Hey folks, welcome to episode three of Bench Squad Dessert. We're rolling on. We're rolling on. We're getting there. Mm -hmm. We'll get a groove. We'll figure out what we want exactly. Right. How many people really listen at this point anyway? Hopefully people will watch this later and be like, wow, you see those first episodes where they're kind of horrible? Well, they're pretty, they're pretty good now. We don't even know who they are. I know. Repetition, man. It's yeah, all repetition. Said your name. I'm Paul. Mm-hmm. And I'm Melinda. So, we're brother and sister. Mm-hmm. Personal trainer. Online personal trainer. Melinda. Mm -hmm. Health coach. Health coach. Online health coach. And we basically want to help you eat the food you like, mm -hmm. yet still enjoy life. Right. So today's topic is great because we are talking <laughs> about desserts. This is my favorite mm -hmm. topic, probably, at this point. Mine too. I was like, this is nice. Right. If you could pick one dessert, mm -hmm. what would be the one dessert you would have? Cookies. I don't even have to think or hesitate on that one. Is there any specific type of cookie? Uh, types? I like peanut butter, oatmeal, chocolate chip. Occasionally sugar if it has like a lemon in it or some other kind of interesting flavor combo. So yeah. you like all the cookies basically? Pretty much all of cookie them. Cookie Monster. Monster <laughs> cookies. Yes, like those. Even the molasses ginger snap, I eat those too. So, yeah, pretty much. The ginger it. snap ones have to be done right. I noticed. For yeah, me to I like, like them it. a little spicier though. I like a little bit, and like they snap. They snap. And I <laughs> and I like ginger. So. Like yeah, I do too. I guess I do. You I probably know, like cookies. them now because you like more spice now than you used to. So you probably. But I just I still do like softer cookies. Like mm -hmm. I had that ginger one, I don't remember where, but it was softer, and I thought it was good. Mm -hmm. I mean, not my top five shows, yeah. but yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Cookies. Uh, mine sure. would be. Um, hmm, that's a weird question since I don't I didn't think of my answer before I asked oh, you. Oh wow. <laughs> Dessert. Dessert. If I could only have one. Ooh. How often do I have this? If I if how often do I have this? Is it like I can only have it one one? It was dessert? your question. You I know. So you can decide. Do you have parameters you? you want? I guess if there's a is it something I have all the time, and I can only have that, I would say cookies too. Probably a chocolate chip cookie. I was gonna say Boston cream pie. No, I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not a pie person, I know. No. Well, silk pie. I like silk pie. <laughs> oh, but, that's true. Uh, too rich for too often. Yeah. So I wouldn't I wouldn't want it all the time. But I like cake. But again, too often that's a mm -hmm. little bit much. You can have one cookie a day and you'd be... I would be good. Yeah. Just thoughts. All right. So, mm -hmm. when do we bust out these desserts? When... <laughs> would be the best time to do this? This is the basic question. When you should say no, when you should not. So, what's wrong with desserts? Nothing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the issue people run into is, uh, they usually desserts have a lot of sugar. Yes, and uh, fat. Yes, and that, run, and that mm -hmm. makes Which things a little tough. Which leads to more calories. Mm -hmm. And that was my th second thing. Calorie dense. Mm -hmm. So you don't get a lot for a lot of calories. Mm -hmm. So you're eating this little bit for 300 some calories right. when you could spread that around. And that's really not ideal for fat loss. No. So you're going to get hungry. You're going to want to eat will. more. Volume foods are better. Mm -hmm. So that's why people tend to want you to stay away from those if you're trying to lose weight. Mm -hmm. Now, total, total restriction usually brings on guilt and binge. Sure does. So, don't try to just... I'm never eating dessert again. Exactly. Don't do that. Number one, that is a horrible thought. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? He said, 
that's, in your that's mind a horrible saying, I'm, I'm not having dessert. Like, Ever. Yeah. <laughs> not having it anymore. Just giving it up. Oh, Even 30 days seems like a long that time seems to like me. A long time. Like, whole 30 or whatever. Mm-hmm. I, I know those. And you can have certain foods, but. I mean, I'm not a dessert. Fruit is a dessert to me kind of person. I just, I, it'd be nice if I felt more like that, but I don't. Fruit is fruit, and dessert is dessert. Yes. <laughs> now, that's coming from two people that are more sweet than savory. Yes. Maybe a savory person, mm-hmm. person who likes uh, more pizza Pe- or burgers or fries, and, yeah. things like that. That's their go-to. They would probably be able to go much longer without. But we're talking about those with the sweet tooth mm-hmm. today, those that want that dessert. So you just gotta uh, fig- so you gotta figure out what kind of sweet eater you are. Are you one of those that can have a little and then be satisfied? Mm. Uh, are you one of those that if you get just the taste into your mouth, you basically go off the deep end? <laughs> there's those. And then there's the ones that have a here, have a little here, have a little there. Next thing you know, the whole bag mm-hmm. is gone. Mm-hmm. Kind of the mindless snacking. Yes, that that's a good term for it. Mindless snacking will get you in trouble. And you never want to mindless snack with sweets and high calorie foods. You really can't afford to do that. That is what should be avoided. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts on this? What you would do? How? Well, I think what you should do though is because, especially in American society and culture, we're you know. We're geared towards overeating because portion sizes are larger for everything. So we, we kind of have to understand what a portion size is in the first place. Mm, yeah, good point. You know, need to get back to that. Because maybe you you think that you're not one of those, I can have a little bit of dessert and leave it alone. But you're just so used to just eating whatever is in your face or whatever is given to you that you, you don't even stop to really enjoy that dessert. Because that's one of the things, and I used to be a faster eater too, but I mean, when you take the time to like really enjoy what yes. you're eating and taste the flavors, smell what you're tasting, you might find, or not smell what you're tasting, but smell, smell what, you're <laughs> what you're eating or whatever. Kind of, I guess. Uh, you can, whatever. I guess you can kind of smell it. Yeah, no, because it. it's not, it's like 80% smell is is part of the eating experience anyway yeah but if you really take the time to slow down i i think people would find that they probably are more in that oh if i have you know a little bit of a normal serving size of this i'm actually okay with it Mm -hmm. and i don't feel like i need to eat a whole lot more the crazy thing to me is growing up probably 60s through you know mid 90s families had desserts like after all dinner, the time. all the time, mm-hmm. and there didn't seem to be this massive mm-hmm. issue with it as far as sugar or weight gain or anything like that. So it can be done. You can have it daily mm-hmm. and still have a healthy life. Right. But there, somewhere in there, in these few last few decades, <laughs> we get into that overconsumption, <laughs> and now we have breakfast desserts. Lunch snacks, desserts, mm-hmm. dinner desserts. So if you were to keep it to like one time a day like mm-hmm. they did back then, you might yeah. be fine. You just got to watch what you do the rest of the day. All right. So one thing I think is mm-hmm. people should be able to at some point say no. Yeah. You have to learn to say You that. have to eventually get to the point where you're like, I will not eat this. This is not the time. For me, I think you should be able to go seven days without eating your favorite food, regardless of what it is. Because I just mm. think you should develop that mind to do that. For example, me, I love peanut butter. If you yes, know me, wow. you know I love peanut butter. But every once in a while, I will take a week off of eating peanut butter just to train my mind mm-hmm. to say, you don't have to have this <laughs> every single time you think you want it. Even if it's not that. That's your whole 30. <laughs> that, that's, <laughs> that's my cleanse. <laughs> it's just making sure my mind, that I'm able to do something. My, my, I, my, my body and my craving is not stronger than my mind, I say. Because it's, it's not. 
It's not. It's all mental. Whether we, when we feel like we have to do something, we really don't have to. We it's don't. just It's the choice that you make in that moment. Exactly. And then your motivation, your how much control and you're in, mm-hmm. um, how much self discipline you've already used that day, all those mm-hmm. things kind of weigh all in. All that weighs in. That's why it's a lot easier to keep to what you're trying to do at the beginning mm-hmm. of the day They've than it is at the end. So. That's when people usually blow things out of the water is at the end of the day because you're tired mm-hmm. and <laughs> you don't feel like doing that anymore. You might be a little bit hungry and you're growing for the first thing you see. Exactly. So, yeah, it's definitely true. It's harder in the morning. Now, <laughs> one of the, or in the evening. Now, one of the things I like to do because I like having that dessert experience, right. like that new new experience with dessert often, I will rotate my desserts because I don't want to eat them all the time. Because I know people yeah. who are like, I have a thing of M&M's every day. You know, they lose their luster when you eat them every day. Exactly. So I like to give them, you know, maybe even six months for me. Because um, I like M&M's, but I don't want to eat them every day and I don't want those calories every day. Exactly. But what I'll do is I'll go six months, and then when I have that M M&M and M pack six months later, I'm like, wow, this You're like woo, this tastes well, good. Okay, no, just... maybe not quite like that, but I'm just kind of like, yeah, these are good, and I can really taste them and experience them rather than just suck them down because, well, I'm going to eat them tomorrow, you know, kind of thing, and this is just what I do, you know, kind of mm-hmm. mentality. So, and then you end up, you know, over consuming on calories, then you know. Like I said, off the rails with your diet plan. Exactly. Or your maintenance plan. So, you know, let food have an experience. <laughs> <laughs> you should be able to enjoy it. Exactly. Yet not have it all the time. Like, you yeah. don't have to have it all the time. It should be special. Like, back in the day, you know, a Happy Meal was like, whoa. Yeah. But now people have them all the time. So I'm like, I don't know how the kids feel about Happy Meals. It's now. just the meal. It's just, just the, the meal that comes meal with the toy. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best way to go. But, <laughs> again, I don't have kids, so. That's true. No kids here, so I, I don't know. But I have try one to create that special experience with food. Yeah, that's very true. Keep it special. I had another thought. I forgot it while you were talking, but oh, that's no. all right. Maybe it'll come back to me. I'm sure it will. For the meantime, I'll move on. Oh, got it. Oh, oh yeah. look at right that. Back. It was quick. <laughs> the other thing I would say is choose higher quality desserts. Oh, man. Whew. If you're going to waste some calories, make it worth it. Do not go. And, and everybody eats Oreos. Mm-hmm. I eat Oreos. If there's a new flavor, I'll try it. Yep. But then I usually don't buy it again because mm-hmm. I just wanted to see what this new one was. But think more... Making them yourself or going to a bakery. Bakeries. Somewhere mm-hmm. where they have actual high quality mm-hmm. foods where you gonna pay and ingredients <laughs> and not just, you know, junk necessarily that's put together cheaply. You want the full mm-hmm. full butter, full sugar, full mm-hmm. flour. If you're gonna do it that way, rather than Oreo, which has I don't know what's in it, but there's a lot of things in there. Exactly. And that's not, and you're not going to enjoy it nearly as much as you would having really good tasting mm-hmm. desserts. So always go for the higher quality desserts yes. over the lower quality. And I think you'll also find that those higher quality desserts tend to keep you fuller a little bit longer. There's, mm-hmm. They don't, because if you eat a cup of Oreos, or you can have that nice cupcake from whatever cupcake place you get it from, yes. the, the good kind, the two Oreos, you're going to be like, did I eat those? You know, <laughs> or... You, I need a few more, mm-hmm. you know, is what you're thinking. But then when you eat the the nice cupcake, you kind of take your time. You've got frosting. You, you feel like you ate something. You feel like you enjoyed something. And I think that the, having that experience helps not only your brain comprehend that you ate, mm-hmm. number one. <laughs> but number two, you feel better about what has happened. You know, because now your brain and your stomach are communicating, yes, we have food in here. Exactly. And your brain says, we ate something that we enjoyed. It was good. It it was, you know, a little higher quality. So you have better ingredients in there, more real 
quote unquote real ingredients <laughs> in there. Um, so I, yeah, try to if you can. Don't just waste your desserts on unless you absolutely like you know star crunch bars or something. If you absolutely love them, yeah, if that's your favorite, that's good. We'll go with that, but. If it's just one of those filler desserts, I wouldn't waste time on a filler dessert. I would exactly. Go get a real one. And that will lead you to probably not having it daily. Yeah. So for me... Because of your pocketbook and because of your... <laughs> time, pocketbook, like to get there. Right. For us, we tend to do Sundays. That's mm-hmm. our day. That's our cheat day. Now... I don't think everybody should have a cheat day because people will go crazy. Mm -hmm. And I did too back in my day Mm -hmm. because I used to have like ice cream in the morning, like that bad. Yeah. It was like, like, it was horrible. Oh, it's, I'm awake. Time to eat dessert. The (laughs) night before I'm like, okay, eight hours. I'll be up. Uh, I'll be ready to eat. I'm a little more controlled now. mm -hmm. A little more controlled. We're very deliberate and intentional (laughs) with our dessert. But it allows you to, um, kind of not think about it the other days now you don't have to pick a day or you can have certain times mm-hmm. but i know that i'm not just gonna pick up oreos at friday night just because it's friday night mm-hmm. or because it's i'm watching tv i know that's just food that's i'm not, not eating at that time at that i'll point. find something mm-hmm. else mm-hmm. popcorn that, yeah popcorn uh, a mint uh, like and we'll go into that actually let's just go into it some of the substitutes Mm. Honestly, right now, probably protein shake is a is a nice substitute for yeah, dessert. <laughs> but his protein shake is a little different. You need to explain this protein shake. Well, it depends on how I'm having it. One is more of a protein with uh, a little bit of cashew milk mixed in and peanut butter. Mm-hmm. And then a little whipped cream, of course. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> gotta have a little cream. So it's got more of a pudding consistency yeah. rather than a protein. Yeah. After a while, yeah. you can chuck drinks a little too easily, mm-hmm. I find. So if I'm going to drink it, I'm going to put ice in it and make it more of a smoothie. smoothie. Mm-hmm. So it takes longer. I can use a fork. And there's recipes out there. Spoon. It's, mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry. A spoon. Uh, there's recipes out there that can give mm-hmm. you this thick consistency. But basically, it's using less... Uh, milk or water and using more ice so it just stays more in the ice cream mm-hmm. right in shake between. flavor in that right and that's really good between and you stage. get you get that feeling and again whipped cream i use whipped mm-hmm. cream a lot not gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> but that's what gets me through uh the other one mm-hmm. is a pancake so i'll make a protein powder pancake mm-hmm. uh i'll usually throw egg whites in a bowl with the protein um, maybe a little bit of pancake mix, and because you need a leavener. Yeah, you can use baking soda, also. Yeah, soda, powder, soda, powder, powder, powder. Use baking powder. Um, yeah, you mix that up. Just put it on the skillet, and it comes out like a pancake. Um, very tasty for mm-hmm. me. With more whipped cream. With whipped cream. <laughs> Everybody has it's, something, It's right? a weeknight dessert kind yeah. of thing. Because you don't need dessert all the time. And then that allows... It's very low fat. If you mm-hmm. do it right. Uh, there are carbs a little bit from the whipped cream. But and mostly it's protein. Mix, yeah. yeah. Egg, I use egg whites. It's not that I don't like eggs. It's just easier to pour egg yeah, whites in there. That's convenience. So you can use an egg, a regular egg, or egg whites. And it's tasty. It's only about 200 some calories, so... Mm-hmm doesn't take much of your day you i feel the dessert flavor in my mm-hmm. mouth which i love and I, it gets me through now if you don't want to do a protein powder because not everybody likes doing that's right powders uh you can try fruit and berries mm-hmm. but again i when i do that i've had to put whipped cream on it to give me that fill <laughs> well if you're a person who likes like apple pie you know cherry pie those kind of things i think that would be a good substitute mm-hmm. for if that's your cup. go-to dessert, you're like, no, I love fruit pies. Well, there you go. Yeah. I even wonder if you could do like a graham cracker crust if you were careful with the butter. Right. Yeah. And I was wondering yeah. even uh, oatmeal, if you like oatmeal. Oh, yeah. You don't like would oatmeal, be good. No. But yeah, you could warm up oatmeal. Get and some, put some fruit and berries in yep. it with whipped cream. Whipped that's cream. good. 
<laughs> that can work. And you get fiber, soluble fiber. Nice. Mm-hmm. And the third one I'm thinking is a uh, chocolatey mint because mm. it seems like when I have something minty, it gives me the thought process mm-hmm. of finishing. It does. So I don't it's have brain closure. Yeah, it doesn't mm-hmm. have that same degree of chocolate. If I just had milk chocolate or dark chocolate. Mm-hmm. The minty chocolate gives me, all right, you're done. This is it. Mm-hmm. Like, we're done for the day. So that one yeah. works well for me. That's a good one. I think part of that, too, is because restaurants tend to do that. Probably. They give you those mints and, and you're done. Yep. You know? <laughs> like, time, time, time to go. Just Meals. down water now. Mm-hmm. And those are the, really the ones that work for me. They're, I don't have a, an exhausting list because it works for me. I don't need mm-hmm. extras. But you can think of things that work for you. Mm-hmm. Um, I... That's the thing, though. I mean, don't be afraid to try different things. If I mean, he gave some suggestions, and I use a lot of those suggestions too because they work for me too. Um, and sometimes I use maybe I don't want mint. I can have a little piece of chocolate and be done. You know, like regular chocolate, mm-hmm. um, and I'm okay with that. But maybe you need a different kind of dessert. Just try some different things out and see what works and what doesn't work, and have a nice little collection of of different desserts that you can have during the week and then kind of decide when I want to have my real quote unquote real dessert. Right. Does it work to just do it one day a week? Does it work to do it after a certain kind of thing? I mean, cause if you're out with friends, exactly. you don't want to be that weirdo that doesn't have dessert. That's just, <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. Sometimes you can say no, but yeah, if yeah. you plan it, like plan I said, your planning day. your week, mm-hmm. going back to the last episode, planning mm-hmm. your week, You'll know what days you yeah. most likely would want to have something. Mm-hmm. Or the week, the day you'll be the weakest, most likely. And right. want to give in. So mm-hmm. that's just the day have you say, ready. just give in. Like, mm-hmm. just do it. Right. Any more Consistency. Thoughts? There's that word again. <laughs> Three episodes in a row we got it. <laughs> Consistency. I think that's our theme. Mm-hmm. At least for now. <laughs> we need a theme song. Consistency. Consistency. <laughs> and then you say it differently each time because then that's the joke. Consistency. <laughs> wow. Consistency. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dork. That's all right. <laughs> Any other th- comments on dessert? I'm glad I we did this we episode to. today. Because yeah, because now, now I really I want, want dessert. dessert and, and I get it. get dessert. It's like real dessert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna go get me cookie. some cookies. I was gonna say I have a whole <laughs> cookie downstairs. I know that, so I'm gonna have some of that. Um, mm-hmm. And when you do it this way, you don't have guilt of eating it. Oh so no, I just I enjoy no every morsel. No every guilt. Every morsel. And then when it's gone, I don't have guilt after either. Uh uh-uh. uh It's just like yeah. I was like the next day I wake up and it's back to normal. Mm-hmm. And I don't feel like oh man, my dessert day is gone. I I feel like I really enjoyed what I ate. Mm-hmm. And. Now I'm back on schedule, doing the 80-20, you know? Exactly. That is how you stay healthy. Mm-hmm. Lifelong healthiness. That's what we're about. Don't give up the sweets. No. That's just wrong. Give sweets a chance. <laughs> <laughs> See how many people caught that reference. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think that's it. Yes, it is. All right. Perfect. It's time for I'm dessert. I'm hungry, so it's time to eat. <laughs> Until next time, peace. Peace.